Lift up your arm and drop it down. Stamp on the floor. Twist your head side to side. Point to your toes. These movements would have been impossible if you didn't have joints. Joints allow us to move our body in different directions. In this video, we're going to learn about what joints are. Joints are junctions between two or more bones. Without them, we would be one big bone and not able to move without snapping, which would be a slight problem. But joints can't work alone. They need tendons and ligaments too. Tendons attach muscles to bone, whilst ligaments connect bone to bone. They are needed to stabilize joints. Without tendons and ligaments, our bones wouldn't stay together and we would just be a pile of bones on the floor. We are a perfect combination of bones, muscles, joints, tendons and ligaments all working together to help us move. Every time bones meet, it's a joint. So between the plates of the skull, our very versatile shoulders, knees and elbows, ankles, fingers and toes. Joints are everywhere. In fact, there are about 360 joints in the human body. Different types of movement are possible because there are different types of joints. So let's have a look at the main types. Fixed joints do not move, like in your skull, and the joints between long bones in your body, like in your lower leg and your arm. So now, the movable joints. Where on our bodies do you think we have ball and socket joints? Pause the video and have a think. You probably thought shoulder, right? But did you also think of hip? As the name says, they all have a ball-like shape at the end of the bone, which fits into a cup-like socket. These joints have the highest amount of movement, which allows lots of rotation. So now, hinge joints. Where do you think we have these? Pause the video and have a think. Of course, our elbows and knees. These joints can only move in one direction, to bend and straighten. They don't naturally rotate from side to side. If they do, you might have an injury. So that's the three main types. Let's have a quick look at the structure of the joints and their functions. Cartilage is a soft substance that cushions between bones to reduce the friction between them and also acts as a shock absorber. When the cartilage is worn down, arthritis occurs, which can be very painful. Synovial fluid is oily and lubricates the joint to reduce friction. You know when people crack their knuckles, or that person whose knees click when they walk. This is thought to be small bubbles within the synovial fluid being released. But we don't recommend cracking your knuckles. No one is too sure if it causes injuries in the long term. The synovial membrane makes the synovial fluid. The capsule, as expected from its name, surrounds the joint and holds in the synovial fluid. We've already seen earlier, they are fibers that hold the bones together. So we've seen what joints are, the three main types, and the structure of joints. Let's end with a quick look at injuries. Joints can be dislocated. This is when a bone and a joint become displaced as a result of a large force. Often the ligaments are also damaged in a form of a sprain. The ball and socket joints of the shoulders are extremely prone to dislocations. As the joint is shallow, the bones have to then be manipulated back into place. Tendon damage can occur when a joint is overused, like in tennis and golf. And as I said before, with arthritis, the cartilage can also wear down. So there we have joints. Test your knowledge on these quick questions. Pause the video and give them a go. Did you get them right?